So whenever you have an isolation issue on a Tesla Model S battery, um, you want to check um, with the isolation meter between the chassis of the battery and the input to the before the contactor. So right where the power is. And so these are known good numbers when the fuse is in. Um, so this is pretty informational, but super important if you're working on these cars. So be careful here because you got high voltage coming in. Be super careful. Um, so right here is the negative side coming out, um, the purple line, and then we're gonna check to the chassis. Go ahead. And we're running a 500 volt test. So we've got 3.7 on the purple line. And then we're gonna check the other side, which is uh, the positive. Go ahead and hit insulation. And we've got 7.6. So this is with the fuse in, and this is a known good battery. So we're going to go ahead and pull the fuse out and we're going to recheck and we should have 10. It is good to know the numbers with the fuse in because sometimes the isolation is not in the housing. It could be in the individual modules. So that's why it's important to know the numbers. So we're going to pull the fuse out here, check the fuse out. And now the numbers should change. So now we're not reading with the modules connected. Now we're basically just reading with the BMS and the chassis. All right, go ahead. 9.9, .9, perfect. Go ahead. And 9 point. So that's pretty much 10. So these are known good numbers. This is super helpful for anybody trying to troubleshoot an isolation issue.